But I have to tell you, this is the first time that I've been able to stand in front of a room of anyone and hold my head up hmm. and not want to look down because yeah. of the shame that I felt on the inside. And I realized that this weekend, after everything God has delivered me from, how can I not say thank you? If you can make it to the next one, I promise your life will be changed. I looked in my the mirror for the first time yesterday and saw myself. Wow. And I don't even look the same. As a young man in today's society, we face a lot. We face a lot from our peers, we face a lot from people around us, so on and so forth. And if you're not careful, you end up with a mindset and a mentality and a lifestyle that's just not conducive for God. And you know, we'll end up 30, 40, 50 years old wondering why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Well, it's not just because it's the devil. You know, it's not stuff don't just happen to you. You know, I learned that, you know, you have to equip yourself. You know, just like I'm walking down the street, I'm gonna be facing things. I gotta be equipped with the word of God so I can, you know, manage to get through all that. You know Because God is in their place. Yes. He will break free some things that you didn't even know was holding you back. Yes. I've been able to overcome fear that I have been dealing with since I was five years old. I am free. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I thank God for the experience that I had on this weekend. And I cannot wait for November because I'm going to be a God. But I just thank God that I had an opportunity to be able to be in the calm because I've been going through a lot in my life. You. Didn't know how I was going to get there. Yeah. Didn't know how I was going to make it. But God be the glory. Yes. Yes. He brought me out of a lot of things that I was battling in. And I thank him for it. Yes. I thank him for his grace and mercy. Yes. I thank him for everlasting. Yes. I thank him for who I am. He is in my life. If it wasn't for God being on my side, I don't know where I would be today. Well, we thank God that he Spared my life. He brought me back where I needed to be. I can walk it. But, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I can do it up myself. I, I got on the strength. But he showed me another side of myself. Mm. And I saw, I saw another side of God. Yay! Um, you know, he dig deep in me. He said, you remember that? And, you know, I, I saw some things about myself that I buried and I forgot. And uh -huh. I, I, I forgot how to trust people and uh, I, I, he just showed me some things and he put it on my plate. And usually I look at my plate and be like, I gotta eat this. I gotta do this myself. I, but we went to the cross and I know now that Jesus ate it from me. And I don't have to worry about it no more. I don't have to hold it no more. And I can just be free in what he wants me to be. strength in me because God gave me the power to be the bigger. Yeah. Lord, thank you, Jesus. He restored me. He broke me in order to be fixed. You must be broken. Yeah. But when I got there, come on, God. When I got there, I stepped on the ground. And I felt it for the first time. I felt it. And when I was done, God was like, come on, this chapter you need to get over it. Come on, this chapter you need to deal with. It. Come on, it ain't over. And some, when I was there, some said, stop, stop giving it your all. But I kept going. I kept pushing. I kept saying, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get what I came to get. And I'm not about to let nobody distract me. I'm not going to let nobody tell me I can't get what I need from God. For years, I have been giving the enemy the victory. He had strongholds in my life and had me bound by secrets. Things that people would use against me. Only to keep me down and bury further. But our friend Eden is my new family. Oh, and the entire weekend, three years. And these guys, these men here, are, uh, are true soldiers of every sense of the world. And, uh, 
You know, I'm not wallowing in this slot. I'm glad that I was able to experience this weekend. I had my doubts. You know, uh, I had friends around me, or so-called friends, that knew I was going, that told me, Fiora, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to come back changed. Hmm. Oh, my. And, uh, I expect these people to want to see change and yes. see greatness in me. I want to thank each and every one of you. I've never met a multitude of people that just cared about me so much as an individual. You guys don't know me. You don't know me. But you care so much about my life. And that's, that's, that touches me right there. I've never been around a group of people that just care so much about me. Why? I was starting to believe there is no God. What has He done for me? But God brought me out of so much. <laughs> this weekend just I've never felt him closer to me than ever before. I'm so grateful. I'm glad that I went because I felt him in my heart and he spoke to me and he knew what was in me. There were things in me that I thought I had let go, but he brought them out and he healed me. <laughs> I'm so thankful and I'm forever grateful for him. I want it to keep going. I don't want this to go away. I want everybody around me to feel the love that I felt. And to be able to thank the Lord every day from the moment you wake up because he blesses us every day. There's times that we don't give him praise and we don't give him the glory. But he's still there. He brings us up those lows. No. We're far to the ground. He picks us up. And he brings us and he shows us that he loves us and that we are his children and he will forever be with us in our hearts wherever we go, whatever we do. He's always there. <laughs> always. And I know that he So what I want to say here is we have some powerful, powerful brothers in the church. Amen. I'm going to strive. I always thought I couldn't be broke. Six foot one, two seventy six. He gonna be with us. It's been done.
wonderful day. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and give God some praise in this house, y'all. And now, now, these went on this Freedom Weekend. If you've ever been on a Freedom Weekend, won't you make some noise for Jesus Christ? Look at how many lives have been changed. Look at how many lives have been affected.